So we're able to map about 673 million jobs across the global economy to the results of this survey. And what that basically tells us is that a quarter of those jobs are going to be changing in one form or the other. A slightly higher number that's going to be fully displaced, about 12%, and a slightly lower number that's actually going to grow, just over 10%. So overall, the rate of change is quite high, but getting a little deeper into why that's happening, it's not just technology. Of course, technological change is going to drive a lot of this, but it's also economic growth, which is pretty tepid at the moment. It's also sustainability and the rise of the green economy. Um, it's also supply chain changes and what's happening to sort of this era of deglobalization, if you will. So all of that together is what's driving these set of changes. Mm. But um, just to follow up on the technology side of things as well, many, many guests that Jeff and I have interviewed over the years, possibly over the decades, have said to us the technology jobs created will far outweigh the jobs lost. Actually, the human beings will be able to go upscale. But now the World Economic Forum is talking about potential algorithm Armageddons as well. And the fact is, as, as your research shows, more jobs will be lost than created. So a few years ago, the last time, the last two times we launched this report, it was all about the robot revolution and about the concern from industrial robots displacing workers in factories, about the potential rise of even humanoid robots um, replacing people in classrooms and in hospitals. None of that has come to be true. In fact, there has been growth in, for example, the advanced manufacturing workforce. There's been growth in the teaching workforce, growth in the health workforce. I think we're at a very similar inflection point when it comes to um, the rise of generative AI and especially the fascination that we've all had with chat GPT. What that's showing us is that, yes, to some extent, there is more risk of automation of tasks that used to be the comparative advantage of humans. Can we wrap up on a positive note? Where are the sources of optimism at the moment? So what's been very interesting is to see how large the job creation potential is in education, in agriculture, in health, and in various more generalist technology-related roles. And in part that is happening not because these are unsafe, low-paid, low-skilled jobs around the world. These are higher-skilled, higher-value-add jobs enabled by technology in the fields of agriculture, health, education. And I think that can only be very promising, especially for developing countries around the world.